Hey there, Media Mail Gang. It is Katie with Katie Reads, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are garage sailing, and it's called a haunted garage sale. It's near Detroit area, uh, and it is at the Ford Performing Arts Center. I am here. I am trying to find somewhere to park, so don't worry. I'm not driving down the road or anything crazy like that. Uh, but I'm trying to find somewhere to park, and once I find somewhere to park, I will take you guys along with me into this haunted garage sale. I don't know what to expect. I've never been. It's five bucks to get in, so it better be good. <laughs> Found a parking spot. Got really lucky. It's absolutely perfect place right in front of the building. So yeah, I forgot my GoPro, guys. I know. What a dummy. So you're not going to get like the whole strap to my chest first person view that is, you know what you see typically in my videos so I'm gonna have to actually like pull my phone out and record so let's hope that I remember to do that and I don't get too caught up in the moment uh, but yeah I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like show you the area I haven't been to this side of Dearborn before so uh, kind of cool kind of cool uh, excited to check it out we'll see if I see anybody I know here So which one should we enter, Izzy? Which one do you think? Um, yes. I think we should enter into the big skeleton one. you guys here this is probably the most creative booth I've seen so far awesome. so tell us your name um, I'm Christopher Krupe out of Ypsilanti Michigan okay. and uh, my company is called Decompositions Corpse Creations nice. I've been doing this for about five years Wow and can they find you online yep just straight through Facebook mainly 
Wow, look at that. Awesome. Wow, so that was actually a lot of fun. Um, so I will show you my haul really quickly while we're here in the parking lot because we have about an hour and a half drive home uh, and Izzy and I are both pretty hungry. So we are going to show you quickly the haul. Okay, so one of the things I purchased was this 12 by 12 print of the three characters from Halloween 3 and Sam from Trick or Treat. And then you can see there in the corner, Michael Myers is kind of hidden behind there uh, with the Strode Realty. And I just thought it was a really, really cool. This is two of my top favorite movies. So it's just like, it, it was just so poetically beautiful. It's just fun. It looks like, you know, some kids going trick or treating. And it's just the the horrorness to it, the vintage look of it, and just like the childlike feel. Um, I really, really liked that. So I had to buy it and I'm going to find a frame and get it framed somewhere in the house. And then Izzy purchased this one with Buzz Lightyear attacking aliens from the movie Alien. And I thought that was pretty cool. Izzy picked that out all by herself. So that's what she wanted, that's what she got. Next, I was at one of these booths and they had a bunch of these um, Spooky Empire Horror Con uh, pamphlets from the different ones in Orlando over the past few years. And then we have Scream Fest, 
before they changed their name. This is 2007. Um, so I thought these were pretty cool. If anything, I'll see what I can get for them on eBay. Okay, so I'm going to see what I can get on eBay for these. Um, I might not be able to get anything. This was really cool. I kind of want to keep this one because Paranormal State, this used to be one of my favorite, favorite shows on a and &E. I loved Ryan, who was one of like the main paranormal investigators. Um, one of my old bosses, actually, when I worked at the bank, him and I would talk about this show all the time. We'd be like, did you watch the new episode? Like, that was like our show. Um, so I actually might keep that one. But the other ones, I'm going to see if there's anything I can get for them on eBay. And then if not, I might put them in like a whatnot show, a future ephemera show, um, and see if I can get, you know, three to maybe six or seven dollars for them. Um, maybe five bucks. I paid a dollar each. The guy had a lot of them. So, uh, I, I'll see if I can kind of flip that and make just a small little quick profit. And then I did purchase these for myself. I'm going to see if they're worth anything on eBay. Uh, if it's like, you know, crazy and it's worth 20 bucks or more, then yeah, I'll get it listed on eBay. Otherwise, I love Silent Hill. It's probably one of my favorite video games. So I'll just keep it for myself. Next, I thought this was really unique. It is a Barbie. It's a plastic one. It's definitely like one of the cheaper Barbies that you probably got from like Dollar Tree or something like that. But it comes with the stand and they actually painted, I don't know how well you can see that, they painted on the face of the Barbie and it's Dia de los Muertos. It's the Katrina um, face paint. A lot of people call this Sugar Skull, but it's actually Katrina paint. And it's about like, Nobody wants me to record this video. Everybody's being so loud <laughs> and interrupt me. But anyways, I was going on a tangent about proper Dia de los Muertos uh, verbiage. But anyways, I bought this for $5. I thought it was really, really cool. Uh, I will probably have it in a future whatnot auction for like maybe 15 to 20 just because it is very unique. It's Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, so I'll see what I can get for it. And then if no one ends up purchasing it, I will just put it on my ofrenda um, next month when I put it up around Halloween time. And then this was the guys that you saw earlier with that, you know, I let them give themselves a shout out. Um, this is their t-shirt that they gave to me to um, promote them. And I'm all about horror. I'm all, all about local horror and supporting local artists. Um, and they do a lot of work for those skeleton setups. Like that type of gory look takes a lot of materials, time, energy. Uh, there's a lot of science to it because you have to use certain chemicals to make certain looks. So I really admire that being a crafter myself. So I was really excited to get a t-shirt and go check them out. Go check out uh, their you know socials and I'll drop all the links for all the people that I took business cards for. Um, or showed their booth, I'll drop all their links in the description of this video because I'm going to post this video on my reselling channel, but I'm also going to post it on my Katie Reads channel as well since that's kind of a spooky season um, channel, horror channel. I felt like putting them on both channels would be good. So if you're watching this on the Katie Morgan channel, you know, uh, I guess just ignore all the reselling stuff. <laughs> I don't know but this is my haul. All right, next we have this little, I actually got this for Brendel. I'm gonna wash it up. Um, I thought it was really cute. I like getting little Halloween goodies for the baby. And so I got this for 50 cents. And then I got these cups for a dollar. Again, I'm just gonna throw them in the dishwasher and get them cleaned up and the kids can use them. There's four of them. Um, and the kids can use them, you know, for the fall season um, and just, you know, simple, fun thing to have around the house for the kids. This I want to do something crafty with. I don't know what yet. Obviously, it's a coffin. It's going to be something spooky. Uh, I'm just still kind of deciding what I want to do. I kind of like the idea of doing something like Pet cemetery related, maybe, with one of Stephen King's books. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what kind of happens. The universe usually ends up telling me what I'm going to do because something pops up and then I'm like, oh, yeah, duh, I just had something and yeah. Now I can make it all work. So I don't know. We'll see what pops up. 
These I got for $2 a piece. Um, I'm going to see what they're worth on eBay. Uh, my intention was to purchase both for myself and for reselling. These seemed really cool. Uh, old PC games do well, especially when they're horror. This one is still sealed. This one is sealed, but the sticker is kind of just completely taken off. Um, it's a mystery adventure game. And so because of that, I'm going to have to have it be like open box um, which brings the value down possibly a little bit so we'll see this one being completely brand new sealed i'm excited to see what i can get for this one and then we have this little witch's hat this was 50 cents um i'm just gonna hang it on the front door of the house <laughs> nothing really exciting with that um i do have to like re-glue that little area so that's why she gave it to me for 50 cents uh literally just something cute and simple that i want to kind of start decorating the house with so I'll probably uh, put this up. Um, another option is I may have it in the background of like some of my whatnot auctions. A lot of my upcoming raid train auctions are like Halloween spooky themed, especially with October 13th being on a Friday this year, Friday the 13th, I'm part of that raid train. So uh, I'll probably try and figure out how I can maybe incorporate this into like a cute background for whatnot. I've been kind of working on that and rearranging my work area. So we'll see. And next I was at a artist's table and he did photography and I thought this was so cool and it gives me kind of like the whole Beetlejuice vibe when Lydia takes pictures of them with her Polaroid and she's like, oh my God, they have no feet. I just thought that was kind of cool. So I really liked the tone of this one. I would say this is uh, probably a little bit bigger than a five by seven. So it might be a little tricky for me to find a frame for it, but I think it could fit into a five by seven. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to go to Dollar Tree to try and find some like uh, cheap, you know, black frames. And I'm going to use it as like decoration in like maybe some of my bookshelves or upstairs where I keep DVDs. Um, I think it would be a really cute look. So I'm excited about that. This is also just simple decoration for the house. It can hang up in the back. I know this probably came from somewhere super cheap like Walmart or Dollar Tree. I got it for 50 cents. So this is just kind of like personal at that point. And then this was really, really cool. I'm actually going to try and see if I can sell it on whatnot. Um, it, it's just really gorgeous. It's got a lot of gold gilds all over paint. Um, it's got kind of like the torn or I'm sorry, worn copper look, and then you can put a candle up top. I like how it's like skulls on top of each other. Um, it does look like there was maybe a little bit of a repair here. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it on my camera on my phone, but it looks like someone painted over this and maybe repaired it a little bit. Um, so I'm going to try and sell it for like five bucks on whatnot and see if I can get any interest. Like I said, I have a lot of Halloween shows coming up. So a lot of these small knickknack Halloween things probably could sell. Same thing with this. This is a, uh, Ouija board, like, what is it? Christmas ornament, I guess you can hang it from your car. You can hang it on a Christmas tree. It's a brand new seal. So I kind of liked that. It's the little, um, eyelet that you use with a Ouija board. Um, kind of has like the whole mystical vibe, the, you know, um, third eye. So I thought that was kind of cool. This Izzy really, really wanted, she doesn't have her ears pierced. So I might try and sell the earrings. Um, but the necklace she really, really wanted, um, she's got a bat necklace. So now she's got a, uh, spider necklace. So yeah, this I thought was really cute. And again, um, I got it for 50 cents, just a simple little knickknack, um, a cat that is kind of like dressed up like a witch. These cute little knickknacks sell really well for me anywhere from one to $3 on whatnot. And again, I just have a lot of uh, cutesy little Halloween shows coming up um, and then worst case scenario since I like this stuff if it doesn't sell past Halloween time I'll just keep it for future you know decorating in my home and then finally this uh, I absolutely love this it does have a little damage to it so I'd probably sell it for like three bucks on whatnot but super super cute um, I loved the look of it you can find the slim candles are like popular now they're getting more traction than they had in the past um, and it has like the little slip guard at the bottom. So that was kind of cool, but we have a little bit of like chipping right here. So I think $3 is probably the most I'll be able to get for it. I'm sure someone could like sand that down, paint over it and correct it. 
Um, so the right buyer will definitely come, but super, super cute. And you can put five candles in there and five is one of my favorite numbers. So, you know, I had to grab it. So that is it guys. If you're watching on the reselling channel, let me know what was your favorite thing that I found? What do you think I'm going to make the most money on? I'll probably show some comps in the video. And then if you're watching on the Katie Morgan channel, thanks for being here. Typically we'll not see reselling content on this channel, but I'm just kind of recycling the same video for both channels since it was horror related and it was a haunted garage sale and it was just something kind of unique and different. So uh, stay tuned, follow me for other things. There's going to be a Stacy Mansion Cemetery video coming up soon as well. We're gonna talk about the history of Stacy's Mansion and Stacy's chair in one of the local cemeteries that I actually grew up in so you're gonna to want to stay tuned for that kind of historical documentary style video uh, documentary may be inflating it a little bit too much I am by no means a journalist or fancy documentary filmmaker person but I'm gonna do my best I'm gonna try and give you guys a good video about the history of that so that's gonna be coming up soon as well so anyways guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video I had a lot of fun Izzy had a lot of fun we're gonna go get some to eat and then head home because we got, like I said, a, a pretty decent drive back home. So thank you and I will see you in the next video.